YouTube. I'm out here at Stone Arch Brewery in Appleton, Wisconsin. Keenan's creeping around in the background. We're here to do a photo shoot. We're gonna be doing a photo shoot for the band Marblehead today. And I wanted to show you guys how I do a little bit of my photography when we're doing um, when we're doing band photography and the you know our light setting and our the way we do our off-camera flash and stuff like that. So I want to help you guys by letting you into my world so you can see how I shoot my band photography. So let's set up the band, or let's wait for the band, I should say. Let's set up and let's go. All right, so we're at the first spot. We're going to shoot with this mural behind us and get the band standing in front of the mural and the brick walls and stuff like that. Shoot around a little bit like that, see what we can get. I'll let you guys watch. At the end of all this, I'll show you guys the edit and the edited photos and everything. So yeah. let's shoot some photos. All right, so we're done shooting at this location. Now we're gonna move on. What we are, we're in the Appleton Flats, it's called. It's down by all the mills and everything. There's a lot of industrial stuff, so we're gonna go down and find some nice industrial backgrounds, use this off-camera flash, and just get some really cool low light, bright flash, front flat lit awesomeness. So let's go see what we can find down in the flats with Marblehead. All right, so we're at the next location. We are gonna get the guys set up on this bridge right here and try to shoot a couple shots with the bridge. There's really gross water down there. So we're gonna make sure they don't step into that, but we're gonna see what we can get with this bridge. All right, so now we're out on this uh, street. On the street down in the flats, the sun is starting to come down. I think I'm going to be able to get it to pull out enough where it's going to look pretty awesome. Uh, but we're going to use the Godox box, soft box, Hakka box, and try to get some good photos of this. All right, so we're all done shooting down here at the flats in Appleton, Wisconsin. Now we're gonna head back to my place. I know I didn't film a ton down here, but we're gonna go back, we're gonna check out these photos and I'll kind of walk you through them. It was a good shoot. I wanna thank Marblehead for having me out here doing it. Uh, Stone Arch Brewery for letting us shoot in their brewery. My buddy Keenan for coming out and helping and holding the light and getting strong muscles. But now we're gonna head back. Let's check out some of these photos. And yep, next, next stop studio. All right, so now I am back at my house. Uh, it's actually the next day. I worked on those pictures, editing them pretty late last night, and I didn't really want to go through all of the editing process because I do have other videos up that show how I get my Josh Russell look. I didn't want to just, you know, make a mirror image video of something I've already created. So what I did is I put the pictures in, well, as you saw, I put them in as I was taking them. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the settings that I used, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. But I mean, mainly I ran my a7 III with the kit lens on it, the 28 to 70. And I used a Young Nuo wireless trigger that I had for my Nikon. It doesn't exactly work on the Sony perfect. You kind of have to wiggle it and get those connectors to touch just right. It is annoying. I am going to be upgrading that like real soon because that was super annoying. Uh, and then I just ran a cheap, I don't know who it's made by. I'd have to look it up, but it's an AD600. Um, it's not the, the Godox version or the, you know, that version it's I think it's made by Cowboy Studio or some it was a cheap one on Amazon battery pack wireless studio for the uh, photography light so I mean it works awesome I had the big octa box on it but it's it's not ideal 
Other than that, I just kind of worked it that way, and Keenan held a reflector panel on the opposite side of the group. That way we were getting a flash, but then getting bounce on the other side, creating, you know, a, a good strong light and, a, and you know, like the key light and the rim light and getting over that. Tried to keep the sun behind him as much as I could, except for the one shot where we actually use the sun to reflect the gold uh, and go that way. But other than that, that's kind of how I ran. I hope you liked it. If you, Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. If not, hit that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you know when I drop a new video. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.